Hi and welcome back to Applic Reviews where we demo and highlight useful software and tech. Today I'll be reviewing an app called Sparkle uh, which is a really cool application. Uh, before we get started I want to say um, that I apologize I've, I've been gone for quite some time. This is my first video in quite a few months um, but I will uh, be doing videos frequently once again and um, let's get started. So uh, what is Sparkle? Sparkle is a modern website uh, creation tool or web authoring tool uh, that was designed to make designing web pages as easy as creating a pages document. And we'll, um, I'll give you an example of that um, in a little bit. So let's go ahead and go to their website. And just going to take a quick uh, brief look through. Uh, for anyone who wants to uh, give it a test drive, they do have a uh, free trial version available. So that way you can uh, take it for a spin and see if uh, see how it works and uh, see if if uh, it's something that you can continue to use and, and make a purchase. But um, this is the website, and they um, give you some samples of uh, the kind of web pages you can create with this uh, program. And I'll actually um, at the end of the review, click on one of them so that way you can um, see one of these uh, created web pages up close. All right. All right. And uh, the company, by the way, is River SRL. And they do have an About Us uh, page so you can learn more about their company as well as um, support for the program and. Uh, blog. All uh, right. So next, we're going to go into the App Store. And that way, um, I'm not going to discuss it just yet. I'll get into that more into the review. Um, but basically, just is just for you to get a quick a quick visual of uh, what's available with this application. And um, essentially, it's visual website design. Uh, so that's one thing I did want to show you. And let's just click through really quick some of these uh, screenshots all right okay and then lastly just um, as you can see it's uh, one of the more popular applications on uh, on the App Store one of the higher rated applications as well um, five perfect stars but about four and a half uh, for average ratings all right, so we're going to click out of that. All right, and what are some of the core features? So some of the stuff we'll be discussing um, is, number one, like I said, it's a modern website authoring application, and it's built with um, OSX's later standards. Uh, so that means you're going to get auto-save, you're going to get um, undo, redo, you know, the ability to share uh, share your your work with other people and all of those things that you come to expect with OS X. Um, another core feature which we saw on the website is the visual design focus um, and essentially what that is is that it is basically saying create websites visually and it puts the designer in in the, the driver's seat as opposed to you know the coder shall I say um, now, that doesn't mean that you, you know, if you're an experienced coder, that doesn't mean that, you know, this is an application that, that wouldn't work for you. It would actually work for you as well, um, but it's more specifically geared to people who uh, want to be able to create without having to think about all that stuff. So, hence, no knowledge of coding is uh, necessary. Also, um, it enables you to focus on content and information. Uh, once again and then um, test your ideas quickly you can quickly throw up landing pages within a matter of uh, minutes and uh, that's something that I'll I won't actually create a landing page but I'll just create a quick page and preview it in uh, Safari so you can get an idea of how quick um, you can develop these pages um, it, it outputs clean HTML5 output and it also creates device specific layouts meaning that you can create a layout that'll look great on a Mac that'll look great on 
um, an iPad and also that'll look great on a mobile device uh, be it a iPhone or um, Android device all right and who is the program for anyone who wants to create gorgeous websites visually without having to worry about knowing HTML5 CSS3 or JavaScript okay so let's go ahead and uh, this is the application here it doesn't look like this this is just the uh, standard OSX dialog um, so let's go ahead and create a new document and when we open a new document this uh, page pops up here um, from the more under the more options and you can actually turn that off by clicking this little uh, symbol show for new documents but um, I like I like it actually coming up and I'm not going to give an example of it but just wanted to show you really quick while while we're in this screen this is where you would embed uh, if you're a coder you know your custom HTML um, JavaScript CSS uh, code uh, right there okay so really quick um, just want to take a quick uh, interface run really quick so obviously this is the zoom function let me um, make it big here the zoom function I have it to auto fit so it automatically adapts to the, uh, the screen size uh, right or the window size um, this is where you can create a customized device layouts like I told you and you know go through all of those options this is the grid you can actually control the grid and the grid is as you can see the background is changing there I like it to be on 12 um, but basically the grid just um, enables you to align uh, your website all right this is the sidebar where you can add more uh, pages and it gives you a couple of different layout options um, new section top level uh, and I'm not going to do that right now but that just lets you know where it is um, on the top of the toolbar uh, continuing to move forward we have the text we have text image gallery box Y box and more which we uh, already looked at and settings which essentially is the side panel here and that's why I said it's uh, very similar to pages and I'm gonna just bring up pages really quick um, if you look at it here pages very simple layout once again at the top uh, from right uh, left to right um, and the formatting options and document options uh, are easily found right on the sidebar uh, so very simple uh, to use and let me just go ahead and close that all right so here uh, we can name the page put some description put some keywords uh, do some aligning alignment change the background image um, utilize a background pattern and actually let me, let me go ahead and use that pattern so let's see I'm actually create create something on the fly so that way you guys can get a sample all right so we'll start with that and then here's where we can uh, utilize Google Analytics if we click it on we can see that we have uh, option between classic and universal uh, a website icon if you have that you can uh, utilize that there and then you can um, adjust uh, or generate images for screens with pixel density of uh, 2x and 3x okay all right so let's just uh, create a quick gallery really quick and first I'm gonna create a quick little text box put that there as you can see the all auto alignment I've created a gallery and I'll say um, or actually I'm gonna do it this way let's click off and let's drag 
so number one you can create a gallery that way by just clicking on that or you can actually just drag it from wherever you're going to uh, add your images uh, from and it'll actually ask you if you want to create a gallery or add these uh, images as single images so let's add a gallery okay and it gives you the same uh, formatting options so the first thing we're going to do is do fit which will enable the image to adjust to the window size might just bring it up a little bit and Let me see here. Let me just bring that up. Okay. All right. And then, as you can see, quite a bit of options you can work with. I'm not going to do much of that. Just want to briefly show you how this, how quickly you can just get something up and running. Um, this doesn't look right on the website. So let me go ahead and center it. And make it a bit smaller and of course you can adjust these um, you can adjust the parameters the height you can put it in the back you can do quite a few things um, which you'll be able to uh, see that when you go into the uh, support section of their website all right and let's uh, look here make that a bit bigger all right, so let me just go ahead and quickly uh, preview this so you can see all you would just, you know, do is just add words there. So you can see just how quick you can create uh, web pages and you can uh, preview it in Firefox and Chrome as well, but we're just going to do Safari and just like that, beautiful page, of course, you know, that background image may not be um, that great but anyway um, you created a slideshow in a matter of seconds and it didn't require any coding whatsoever all right all right and just go now we're just going to go through the menus really quick and we'll uh, wrap it up so this is the about you get to see some of the um, developers and engineers. Preferences is grayed out because technically this is preferences, this uh, sidebar on the right hand part of the application. We can create a new file, open a new file or from a, whatever location. We can open a recent document, close, save, duplicate, rename, export website, export again, revert to a previous um previous save we can move to for editing we can dictate if we were in a text box for example use emoji and symbols spelling grammar all of the standard stuff there obviously undo copy cut paste duplicate uh, we can also insert different stuff we can do all of that um in terms of inserting all on this uh, toolbar here as well but we can insert the page text box image image gallery map video menu etc um, we can also insert twitter twitter timeline um a tweet an embed like we discussed earlier and i showed you where that was we can make um, the text bigger or smaller and you can also use those key commands we can do bold italics underline which is also available over here um, we can use all of the uh, range options which is also available over there uh, view zoom in zoom out auto fit fit entire page actual size uh, switch to desktop enter full screen high toolbar customize toolbar let's just click on this really quick so you can get an idea so you can um, move stuff around put preview there if you want um, I'm not going to change anything but that just gives you an idea of uh, how you can edit the toolbar okay and 
finally help and if and then uh, also we can um send current document as feedback so let's just click on help really quick and this is where you would get help you can look at the manual there as well as the little introduction uh, video and then uh, for support you can email them and give them uh, feedback with uh, in terms of bugs or just um, feedback about the application in general okay and one more thing I wanted to show you guys really quick uh, as promised um, earlier so I'm going to just show you one example of a website created uh, using Sparkle. Okay, so this is a website created using Sparkle. It looks like a photography site. And as you can see, it looks very beautiful. Um, dynamic, interactive, very neat. Okay, just quickly scrolling through it. All right, just to sh give you an idea of what's possible. All right, so that was Sparkle. All right, and my recommendation is I would recommend anyone who uh, wants to create uh, websites, wants to create a great, gorgeous website visually without having to know any kind of CSS, know any HTML, and utilize any Java uh, whatsoever, uh, this is an application that you must have in your arsenal. Even for people who um, do know those technologies and how to use them, this is still a, a great tool for if you want to quickly um, create a uh, website without having to do too much uh, thought into coding or put put any thought into coding so the design is great very simple like i said uh similar to pages um very capable capability is um, very high because you know you do have the option to embed um, html css3 and uh, javascript um but of course you don't have to uh, performance i haven't had any um it performs well for for the most part fairly quick as long as i'm not doing too many things at one time so i do have a somewhat of an older uh, mac macbook pro and um hasn't crashed on me especially you know when i'm doing my uh creating some of my sites that i've created and you know haven't experienced any crashes um the price is definitely reason reasonable and I will uh, get to that. You probably already seen it anyway, but definitely reasonable competition wise. Um, it's really not that much competition. Um, um, but there is a program, I believe, called uh, Everweb and Sandbox. I think it um, definitely outshines uh, both of those programs in terms of the design and capability, the performance, um, the ease of use, um, you know, on on many levels and uh, even with the price uh, for everything that you're getting with this application um, and of course it is available on Mac OS X and it is $79.99 so that was Sparkle uh, thanks for watching and if you found this review helpful to you in any way be sure to check out Sparkle in the App Store watch some of my other reviews and remember to like comment and subscribe below Thanks for watching.